few days ago, I made a video talking about Shogun. It's actually a really good show. It takes place in the 1600s. It's about a, a lord that is trying to fight for his life because a bunch of other people that are on a council of regents want him dead so they can consolidate power. It sounds kind of similar to Game of Thrones, and that's why people compare it to Game of Thrones. Uh, this is a good show. I like it. I like to call it the Japanese Game of Thrones. I think that instantly tells you kind of what the show is about, though it's not. There's no magical stuff in this like Game of Thrones. It's pretty grounded. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Four episodes now. I'm hoping it gets a second season. I'd like to see more of this. But some people are upset, and this is going to sound similar to the previous video I made for a minute, that there's no black samurai in the show. That's because at one time in history, there was possibly a black samurai. In fact, historians, from what I've seen, are mixed on it. He either was or wasn't. Either way, like he had the weapons, which gave him status. Uh, but it was an anomaly in Japanese culture. It was not the trend. It's not what is happening all the time. But because there was this one possible black samurai, that means every Japanese piece of entertainment needs to have that samurai in it. Even though he was born and died well before the 1600s, he still needs to be in the show. It's wild. This whole article came out. It's now been picked up by MSN. And Microsoft Start has picked it up. So a lot of people are giving this article more, more traction than it needs. Now, when I made my video on it, there was a big meltdown. Big meltdown. Look at this, 173 quote tweets or reposts and quotes of people melting down and saying that, oh, well, you're racist because some dude that was born way before this show takes place, definitely should have been in the show. And uh, it's just funny that they post this from Wikipedia, right? Uh, talking about how, oh, well, have you not heard of this guy? How could you not heard of this guy? This guy, this guy, this guy. There's an anime about him. Great. His story actually sounds interesting. It should be told. However, it doesn't belong in this show. But these people act like he should be plucked out of just lies and vibes, this person says. No, it's a real thing. People complaining that that show doesn't have this one dude from history. But they're having a, a huge meltdown about it. Uh, here's something that was going around on the Internet, which is a lie. This is AI art. Uh, people are acting like this is an authentic photo, which is pretty funny. It says, Black Samurai in Japan, the mainstream media will never show you. All of this has popped up because of Shogun. Because every mainstream Japanese Western show needs a black dude. <laughs> it's a show based on Japanese history. And by the way, this guy would have been dead before this show's time period would have ever started. I think it's fine that they could make a show on this guy. I would actually be interested in watching that. Because I think sometimes that that Dances with Wolves theme is, is interesting and, and a good story. Last Samurai is a good movie. There's no reason you can't do this guy's movie, too. The problem is it doesn't belong in Shogun. doesn't belong there. It's not his story. This is about something different entirely. But because this guy exists, he needs to be in everything. However, this is a fake picture, by the way. This is what I love. This is what I love about community notes. This is AI art. This is the kind of problems we're going to have in the future with fake stuff, by the way, because a lot of people thought this was real. 24,000 likes, 2.6 million views. I don't know when this community note was added. This is AI art, fake history, not a real photo test here. So this probably got saved by a bunch of people, and they're going to use it like this is a real photo. It's not. It's fake. Uh, here's the other note here. There was one possible black samurai in Japan, uh, Yusuke, but sources call him a retainer. 
a page or sword bearer retainer. Uh, there seems to be controversy there. Some people say he was a samurai. Some people say he was a retainer. I don't know. Not sure where he is. All I know is that his story takes place quite a few years before Shogun even starts. So it makes no sense for him to be there. Why would he even be there anyway? This is a show about uh, Japanese lords jockeying for power. And there's some people underneath them that get highlighted sometimes, but it would make no sense to just shoehorn this in there. But that doesn't matter. And this is a problem with with entertainment and a lot of these woke people in general. They want to shoehorn shit in. If you want to tell this story, tell this story. Now, from what I understand, it, it already exists in anime form. Great. He has his story told. It's just wild to me. But uh, Oliver Gia, here correcting the story, says, Before people bring up Yusuke, I wrote an article on him. He existed, but it isn't clear if he was a samurai. Either way, he was an extreme historical anomaly and not representative of a wider trend. Again, why exaggerate the truth when the facts are already interesting? And that's a good point. You could tell his story. Make a movie, The Black Samurai. If you do it well, people will probably watch it. As long as you do it and tell it within that history and not add modern dayisms. So Oliver continues, this there is research out there on the actual history of black people in Japan, but realistically speaking, they didn't have much of a cultural impact here until the Meiji era onward. Or the Meiji. I'm not sure on how to say that. Bad with Japanese words. Uh, there simply weren't many opportunities before then for meaningful cultural exchange to happen, which is true. Uh, J Japan was very isolated for a long time. Uh, today, things are like things like jazz, reggae, and rap are very popular in Japan, and there are numerous black people who have become successful foreign talents here. When you feel the need to invent fake history, it just makes you look insecure at best and completely unhinged at worst. There's interesting stories in there. Uh, people that are foreigners that have become big hits in Japan, like that's a story you could tell. I don't understand the need to hijack a show that doesn't need hijacking. Like You don't need this character in that show. The show's already good as it is. But things have to change. We've got to put DEI and everything, even Japanese stuff. And like the meltdown over this, over that article, is, is wild. Like This sparked a big conversation on social media. And it's so stupid. Like, you could tell the story of that dude. Just give him his own movie. He doesn't belong in Shogun. And that's just a fact. But I, I, I wouldn't trust... I'd rather a Japanese studio make his story, to be honest. Because a Western story would be would dog shit. He'd be talking about Trump in the 1600s. Trump? Who's that? He's the future. You gotta worry. It'd be stupid. It'd be Western trash. I'm surprised Shogun isn't Western trash, to be honest. They're doing a good job with it. It's one of the few times. It's like the ghost of Tsushima, the show. You know, like that was a Western studio. Made a great game. So, you know, I'll give, them Shog I'll give it to them. Shogun's a great show, but they got to keep these wackos off of it. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed to that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free, but if you are a supporter... Over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.